Mm -hmm. <laughs> Camera stopped. Yeah, it's done that already like three times. There we go. I don't know, I think I'm scaring the camera. It's in this face. Boo. Ah! And then it freezes. <laughs> yes, I could make fun of myself, guys. I know what I look like. To everybody else who watches, uh, I'm still growing. Leave me alone. <laughs> hmm. I'd be like Chandler. Oh, look at me. I'm growing. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I just figured. <laughs> I do have a sore throat. I think it's been coming on for a little while. It's just now it's more prominent. Before it was like kind of naggy. I mean, it was there, but not really there. Didn't paint no mind. I mean, I took some stuff, but it's like... <sighs> Medicines don't work unless the symptom is actually there. So if it ain't much of a sore throat, ain't no point taking sore throat medicine. That includes the lozenges. Don't work. All you're doing is pretty much eating candy at that point. Okay. Oh, yay. Let me see. Delete, delete, delete. I got Amazon something. Coming next week. Oh, it's me vitamins. Yeah, I ordered some vitamins. I'm not sleeping very well, but that happens a lot when you hit menopause and your body's going through a whole bunch of shit that your parents don't tell you. Thanks, mom. Thanks. Or anybody, really. Thanks, grandma. You too. Uh huh. Thanks. Menopause, whatever. And what I really want to ease up is like the hot flashes. Oh God, yeah. I think that's what kept me up most of the time is those hot flashes because you wake up and you wake up like somebody turned the furnace on you or the fire torch. Just right on you. It's not good. It, it just gets hot quick. Yeah, you wonder why we turn into bianches. That's why. Who likes to be that hot? Come on. But then you guys go through your man paws. <laughs> I think it's funny. Oh, no, not all men feel it. Let's say it's a 50-50 chance. Just a lot of them don't admit it. But they do go into the doctor or the hospital because they think they're dying of a fever. So, yeah, they get their hot flashes too, guys. Man paws. <laughs> Literally, that's when their hormone, uh, testosterone, takes a, a deep dip. It's not even a gradual dip. It takes a deep dip, which goes from, let's say, if you're producing over... Okay, you guys produce like billions of sperm. I don't even know if you understand the concept of billions. So when you get pissed off at the woman when the birth control doesn't work, mm, technically, your fault. So whatever. But it takes a dip. So you go from billions to, let's say millions and even then it can go into the thousands literally 
it's called a, a man pause because it's literally a whole pause there and you guys start to go through your uh i need a new car uh it's too hot in here hmm. wearing shorts 24 7 looking like idiots or grooming like you're going to go out and get a date you guys go through your weird faces too women are just more prominent they just say what it is y'all hide your shit your man crap <laughs> so yeah i can make fun of that a lot so just be wary my loves be wary menopause is no joke i think it hasn't frozen yet i don't know if it's movement I'm not touching wires. I'm not touching plugs. I'm still trying to understand why it does it. Or maybe the camera's old. That could be one. But this one's fairly newish right here. And that one has it only paused what, maybe once or twice? I don't know. It is peculiar. Hmm. Very, very peculiar. I like saying pecu peculiar. <laughs> I can get my tongue to work. I think the music might be loud, but I'm not sure. It says it's not. On my desktop audio. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. That sounds good. That looks good. And I haven't frozen yet. I don't know. I feel like if I start something, I'm not going to notice. And then. Ah. All right. My guy from Blizzard is on. Let me see. Justin. Justin Guard Illustrator. Yes. He's from Blizzard. Yes. He's done, uh... Oh, God. Maybe I should have stayed on there for a while. <laughs> He's done Blizzard. And who else? Why can't I remember your crap? Oh, Riot, Sony, PlayStation, Nintendo, Warner Brothers, DreamWorks, Random House, Wizards of the Closet. Quite a portfolio, guys quite a portfolio why is he on here you're saying well uh his last job was blizzard and yeah they all got uh kicked <laughs> fired whatever uh there are look when another company takes over it, two things are either going to happen either when they do take over guess what they're going to do First and foremost, because a lot of them do do, <laughs> do do that, they fire everybody. They do a whole reconstruction of the company to do whatever they got to do to clean up the leaks of whatever. Whatever they at the time considered a leak. Or if they know the ones with just a bad record, too many absences, too many vacations, oh, too many phone calls. Uh, they do a lot of that. They will weed out the ones that don't really show up. Those are the first to go. And then they kind of dwindle down from there to the ones that are always there and need a vacation. <laughs> so it goes like that. And then they, again, it still goes under a reconstruction and do a new format to redo their whole, I don't know, development, their whole, their whole way of working. So yeah, Blizzard kind of went through an enema. I will say that. Am I a WoW? Oh God, yes, I'm a WoW fan. Years, years and years and years. Just these last couple of years. They've been... I'll tell... I mean, we'll say it even because a lot of other Blizzard players say it. They've been fucking up royally bad. I don't know if it's the workers, uh, admins. I couldn't even tell you them. I, I don't know. Don't know. They. It's been bad. And... Sometimes the story, they almost put it like on the toilet and that's where they're writing it from. Just my opinion. 
Okay, guys, my opinion. Of course, several others thought the same way. I ha I know a lot of otakus that will agree with me. But there are those that are so loyal to the game. And we have two that are, or at least on uh, my friend group, I have two. And no matter how bad it is, they're going to still play. They're like, yeah, but this is my only fun. I, I've never told anybody, no, you can't do it. If you if I quit, you quit. Nah, nah. It's like, okay, guys, but I'm going to be gone for a while. I don't know until after they fix it, fix it or not fix it. I know me. And I think I could set up a time to where I can play the WoW and not be fully immersed in it. Because I will forget the world and just be immersed in that world. Why? Because it's fun. I mean, even I'll admit it, if it was a virtual world, guys, I would never leave it. My my corpse would be right here, starved to death. Ooh. All dried, pruny. Yeah, I'd be that one. <laughs> I'm sure my husband would do. <laughs> We're horrible. When it comes to games, we just get sucked in. But anyways, he is on Justin Gerber Illustrations. And yeah, he's done quite a bit. I've been following him for a little bit because all of his stuff, I mean, it's good. If you guys were to see this, it's like, wow, that is why they hired you. It's got a great portfolio. And uh, I'm not sure of his partner, Annie. I'm assuming the wife. And if it's not a wife, it's a girlfriend, but she does carry his last name. So she does, uh, I don't know still life pictures art i couldn't tell you if it's oils or digital because i haven't gone on to hers yet so i mean it's awesome it's awesome when it's a duo like that let's calm you down a little bit just turning down the music guys so yeah he is on right now I like it when it's a duo. I really do. Ugh. Seriously, guys. Ugh. My tonsils hurt. It's a little rough on the talking. I did take some throat medication and I kind of did a lozenge. A lozenge. <laughs> I did one. Uh, anymore uh, it's a little rough it's a little rough even just a dog but notice i'm still talking yeah even like this i'm way 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 i can't help it y'all it hurts it hurts it hurts it hurts anyways i think i'm having frozen so i'll go on with my stuff here I haven't done anything yet because I'm afraid this thing's just going to go boop and freeze. Just so you know, it is getting colder. It's supposed to be in the 20s tonight. That's freezing, guys. Anything under anything under 30, though, it, we're already headed towards ice country anyways. Anything above 25 degrees here is slushy. So ice particles, but not total freeze. Anything under 25 is a total freeze here in Texas, in our little East Texas or our little corner of Texas. If you don't believe that, check up Dallas. Oh, my God. You talk about it. Is, you, they might as well be north. And I mean north like the pole north, not north side. <laughs> We're not in the north area, guys. But still, Wow. Technically, after last year, this is summer because we were trapped in our houses last year. So, yeah, that's so great. All right. Mikey's not on my Toe Fusion or my Toe Senshi. To Tofu Senshi. She's off already. And she does a lot of your uh, what are those little thingies called. When you put up the little emojis. On your Twitch, she does us. Oh, I think she's so cool. 
my daughter does that too and it's like wow wow you guys are funny because i think she looks like my girl anyways so i was like huh there's my girl why is she called tofu <laughs> I don't know if my girl would do that. Call herself Tofu. Well, actually, she does. I think she calls herself Little Bunny or Little Crying Bunny. Or the only one. I don't know. Alright. I'm looking good so far. Oh. The cameras. So, okay. I know I'm talking. I know. But this is what Twitch is about. Hiya. Hola. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, just trying to get this going. I was just afraid this thing would freeze again. I swear, it kind of scares me. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> seriously. God. No, it's my fault. My fault, I got a sore throat. You know, those warnings you get from your parents. Don't go outside barefooted. You're like, <laughs> Oh god, right now it's like, maybe it's because I went outside barefoot on freaking cold cement. Hmm. From a hothouse. Uh, maybe. I'm putting a big maybe on that. Why? Because I don't want them to, I don't want to admit that they're right. <laughs> well, you know they're right. I mean, god, I'm a parent. I get it. I always tell my kids I'm never wrong. Never wrong. So, eh. I know they'll never look it up. How about that? Mm-hmm. Google. Computers. Right in front of them. Would they look it up, though? Would they take that minute to go, Oh, let me go check to see if that's true. Mm-hmm. Let me go get the dictionary to see if that's what that means. Meh. That's why I know. I'm always right. I did that a lot with my mom, though. I don't go look that up. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're wrong. No, -uh, that's what, this is what it says right here. <laughs> it was like, now I get it. Oh. It's not the point of being right. It's the point of pay attention and just say what she just do what she says. So I get it. Mm, sorry, mom. <laughs> OK, I think we're all right for a little bit. For as long as this won't freeze on me. Like I said, this one won't freeze. It's this one right here. But it hasn't stopped yet. It stopped like three other times before, two other times before. So it's like, oh, I don't know if I should go on. I don't know. Worst part is you still got to test the camera. Oh, oh, crap. I didn't bring my face paint. Chase paint. I meant like this because for some reason, if you notice, she's like all blotchy. I'm like, what the frick? <laughs> we don't like blotchies. We are going to get rid of the blotchies. Plus, I'm still working on her hand, but I didn't like, like she got a bad sunburn and didn't even bother. Oh, she put that spray tan and didn't even do it evenly. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Back. Back to torture you. Do you like my brush though. Okay. And I know I painted this pretty well. The thing is, sometimes the paint, it's the paint problem. It's old. You don't know how long they've been sitting on the shelves. This is not something they're going to go around checking the expiration dates for. I've done pl plenty of zoning 
in those aisles that no you really don't check expiration dates so of course the customer is the one that pays for it and go what the hell though it looks okay when it comes out it's when it dries up it's like patches just patches so at that point when you see a paint like that and you have already done the deed of painting <laughs> like I did you can't really tell until it dries and it's like whoa 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 you gotta go over it again and go over it again and then try not to use it or mix it with something else the thing is if this is the color you're needing and there is none at the store which in my case that's what it is <laughs> I'm stuck with this paint until I can get it replaced. Not really stuck with it. I mean, I can make my own. It's just, it saves time. If that's a better term, it saves time. It saves us time. That's all. Ah, uh, what did I do with my brush? Let's see. I want that one. I gotta say that I've been going through a certain size brush. See if I'm able to find that one again. Uh, where are my cutters? Ooh, they're probably in there. Cutters! Mm-hmm. Her. Exacto knives, guys. Mm -hmm. Don't live without it. Can't live without it. Yeah, you can. That's just. Point is, have one. These guys are so helpful. I get the fuzzies out of here. I try and get most out of my brushes. You know, it gets to the point to where not even the brush restorer can fix it. <laughs> I don't know if I leave them too long in the water or I just paint with them way too long, not wanting to stop. That is my problem. It's the once you're getting into the flow, you don't want to stop. You just want to go, go, go. For some reason, you're like in that zone. And I think a lot of you people know what it is. I mean, you're just in that zone. You just you can't because you're so close or you're just like on top of it. You're like you're you're right in that little section between not hearing but not asleep i don't even know how to explain it like you're not here but you're not there you're not awake but you're not asleep yeah that kind of weirdness yeah we artists are just weird just weird in general i do like this again why patchy i don't know it's just it's just bad paint let it go bad paint bad paint Hmm. Mulsek stopped, I think. Yeah, because I don't hear another one. Let's see. Post Rock by Epidemic Sound. Not sponsored, guys. All right. Let me change that one. Next one coming up Cody Francis. Okay. It'll be all right. That's his title. It'll be all right. Oh, this one has singing in it. Laid back guitar music. It's what it is. Indie music. Whatever you want to call it.
There we go. This is going to take a couple of times, though, for sure. Only because I can't tell until literally the dry, the paint literally just dries. Because you can see it. I sure didn't notice it when I was doing it. Seriously, it looks like a bad tan. Bad tan, girl. Bad tan. Even. Even. When you spray it, it's even. It's very folksy right there. Oh, I was drinking my coffee. Try not to get the eyeball there. <laughs> Good lord. Beady beady painting. It is very folksy though. I almost feel like um like um Bob Ross or something. The little edges. There we go. Hopefully when it dries it won't just try to dry apart. I'm with everybody else anyways. I like even paintings. If I was going for abstract, she wouldn't look so human. <laughs> Can I say that? <laughs> oh my god. It's not a Picasso, guys. I know what Picasso is. I love his stuff, too. But come on, sometimes we just want to see people. <laughs> just saying. Do we look like we're made of geometric shapes? No. Oh, please, no. Oh, they're just pounding away on those hammers outside. <clears throat> Seriously, oh. just every once in a while, it just feels like it pulses. I need a new throat, guys. Need a new throat. Is there such a thing as a new throat? Ugh.
face even. Even, 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 Steven. Get a little bit of a chest here. I know I got some, but no. Okay, a little bit. I'm going to have to let that dry. This part's going to be a little tricky because look at this. You know how many coats I'd have to put on that? It's too. Hmm. Yeah, that's the problem. It's dry. So I should not have to put a 20,000 coats on an area. Oh, my computer's angry. <clears throat> like it. <laughs> I'm gonna let that play. So I can't tell, and it's kind of frustrating not knowing. Oh, still see kind of little patchy there. Of course, I gotta get these little areas right here too. Hmm. All right, I'll let you dry, girlfriend. Okay. All right. Oh, that's right, the bubbles. Bubbles. We like it, the bubbles. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> Ugh, seriously. Let me see. Oh, wow. Look who I got. This time it's Evolve DKYT. 
thanks for joining. Guess what? No. Yeah, they're selling followers. They're selling followers. Okay. You know when they say selling followers, that means they're selling people. They're selling people. Oh, what are you doing to sell people? Seriously? I think it's crazy. But whatever. It's on there. Like I said, I get about three or four of these. Three or four. This is I just start. Y'all are fast, whoever you are. Okay, let me warm up my coffee because my throat is just, it's killing me and my coffee's cold. Ugh. That's for me messing with the camera. Of course, they're both still going, so <laughs> this is cool. Give me 30 seconds on this one. All right, warmed it up. Yay. Yep, I might have to do some like apple cider vinegar or something. <clears throat> oh, wow. I think all of my freaking pellets are dirty. Oh, I'm down to the last two. When I say all, I think I got like two here, three, four, five. That one's dirty though. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, I think I got like ten. Oops. Yeah, I need to clean them. I'm so bad about it though. I get lazy too. Anyways. Stop. That was a short list. Mm hmm. Let's see. Mellow Idol. Okay, hers is a little longer. I say her because there's literally a picture of a woman on here. And if her hair wasn't as orange as I see it now, I would assume Elena Morissette. <laughs> Atlanta Morissette. Mm. Yeah. Hot stuff. Just, it feels so good on my throat right now. Nice. Mm. Where's the lalo? Lalo, not the lalo. I got my blue. Not the bright yellow. Do I need the bright yellow? No. I don't think it show though. All right. Let's see. How about the 
what colors do we have? Blue. Not, not this one. Same color. I have a cobalt somewhere. I like the cobalt. Besides it being a cool stone. Cobalt blue, where did you go? That is turquoise. Where's my foot? Azoline, Dalsapine, Medium, Fabian, Cobalt. Oh, I have a cobalt for you. Yeah. I had another one, and I don't know where I put it. Too much, not too much, not too much, oop, not too much. Titanium buff, I'm not using the titanium. I keep saying the same thing. It's Titan, Titan, Titan. This is titanium. See, big difference in the color. <laughs> oh my Lord. Alright, cut that. Let's do a tad of blue. Ooh, that's too big of a one, but. Then. I want orange. What do you think? Red, blue. Blue goes with everything! <laughs> Don't go with Alright. One, two drops there, a little bit there, just in case I need more. Ooh, the purple. The violet. Oh, let's do the violet. Purplish color. I'm thinking that's what that is over there. Whoa. Yuck. Get off of there. All right. Damn it. Let's put on a little bit. Where's my... Hmm. Rag. Okay. Whoopsie, whoopsie. That one kind of like... Spilt a little bit. No, I did not mean to look at that, but let's see. Oh my god, it's chilies. I really need to take them off. Let's see, bam. Farmers, calls. Good lord, okay. Get them off. Get you off. Get off. Oh, my package was delivered? What? No, -uh, I just ordered it yesterday. Whatever, right? I don't believe you. Let's see. Not what they were thinking, kind of bubbles. Bubble glass. Hmm. 
There we go. Maybe they're a little more realistic, colorful. Gotta love references. Gotta love it. Stay up long enough. Okay. I think we got a good one here for the music. Kind of nice. I like it. It's nice and calm. Okay, that's not a bad color there. Maybe a little too much. But that's okay. We're good. Yeah, that red though, if you don't put a little bit less than what it you usually put, it'll take over that whole white. It'll just still be red. I want it sort of blushy pink. That looks good. Got my rag down here. <laughs> hmm. There we go. That was a nice one. And that's why I got more blue. <laughs> There we go. I might have to use the actual color in some points, but that's okay. Which is the whole point of it. Let's see. I'll probably go in order and then kind of go from there. That's just easier to do. Yes, I do. I got a little bubble there, so two, three, four, five. Even though I got the little star looking things, it's the bubble that popped. My theory. <laughs> theory. Theory. So, that's all right. That's a pretty big one. I wonder if I should have used a smaller brush. Hmm. Now I have said it. It is pretty drawn on here. No idea if you can even see it. Mm, kind of? Yeah, when I drew them yesterday, they were like so light. Yesterday, the day before, sorry. The day before, they were so light. And it's like, uh, I don't know. Can't see them. <laughs> I could see them. I wasn't sure if you guys could see them. Get it a lot easier for me. Hmm. 
I warmed up my coffee and I was going to get cold. <laughs> oh, my throat hurts again. I don't know, I might be in trouble with this one. <laughs> I I'm at my throat. Oh, I actually did do the uh, Indian red. It came out all right. It was pretty good. But, since I wasn't sure how thick to make them, I think that was my problem. I actually rolled them out with a rolling pin. And I looked up another couple of videos and they did it by hand. It says a lot of people do it by rolling pin. It's just easier to do it by hand, I'm thinking. Really? Too late, too late. I already done my deed. So I was thinking, I'm feeling okay apparently. I was gonna do it again today. But this time they have a sweet it's a sweet one. All they did was just add sugar to the dough. It was literally just like three ingredients. It's flour, salt, baking soda, and then the hot water. Yeah, that was, that was it. And I will not omit the salt because literally the salt is what gives it a lot of the flavor. And again, we are creatures that love the salty sweets. So yeah, keep that in there. So I'm gonna keep the salt in, but it did give me a basis for the sugar on one because it's the same dough you could still use for pizza or make a calzone because it still has a bit of a rise in it come on who doesn't want that yeah the calzone part i don't know i have to watch that one i haven't watched it yet because i know what a calzone is and it's like you can put all that and it's not gonna like pop open but it'll heat everything up in the inside so I'm kind of curious on that one. But who doesn't like a good pizza? <clears throat> See, I was just like, hey. I'm going to be whispering pretty soon. <clears throat> Oops. Quit moving, girl. I'm trying to paint. I messed it up. Ugh. Well, I might have to go over a little bit. Okay, that one might be a little too big. <laughs> oh my god. I will go through here though. Size them up with the light. Size them up. Size them up. All that means is just kind of go back through and make sure they're a good, they're a nice size. Not too ugly. I don't want them ugly. I do want them to look like a teardrop though. Yeah, you notice my, my voice is just, it's going. It's going, guys. That one's a total pop, so it's gonna it's gonna take one more coat on that one. Next color up is red. I don't know if I'd be able to do this. A little bit of paint. My fault.
that one dry a little bit. That next one is blue. I wish. Oh no, it's not going to stay like that. I don't want to mess with it too much. Because then all we'll be doing is just moving the paint and not letting it dry. I've done that. Mm. You can already tell it's going to need another coat. Notice these things till after. Okay. Really, I almost didn't get on today either. I didn't want to get out of bed. Yeah, I'm feeling like that. Not wanting to get out of bed. So tired. My head hurts. No, most of all, what's killing me is my throat. I mean, my head doesn't bug me as much as this does right now. It's not just sore. Well, obviously I can still swallow, but it's like, ah, oh, the effort. Hmm. It's already getting cold. I'm not going to go get more because I already know. Let's pull the pole off. Let's see. Hold it. Right. Oh. 
bubbles like to be shiny. So you have to create the shine in the bubble. Not a too easy feat to do, but a lot of people like it. Bubbles are fun. I like bubbles. Create the illusion of that little swirl inside. Soap doesn't stay still, and reflections don't either. There you go. Not too bad. That's just the first one. Gives me first blood. The next one is up there, and then we're going back to the purple for that one. The next one is there, which is another red one. And then... Oh, no, I got a pop over here, which would be the blue. Hmm. I don't have another. Do I have blue? So it'll be purple, red, then blue over here. So yeah, the blue will get a bubble. Okay, okay, okay. Just wondering if I was going to get one. I got to clean up the line in there. It'll work. Don't you call it a zombie? These are why handles are long. That looks good.
Okay, we gotta let that one dry. Because I'm gonna have to paint over that. Okay, we got that purple one up there. You can see it. There you are. camera froze no okay. gotta wonder sometimes why is it not moving oh because I'm not <laughs> I'm not moving Here. can't see this one very well I'll be blocking you guys huh sorry I'm gonna block you for a little bit Oh yeah, it's going to be right on her. This one off a little more. Look, I did a corner on it. Alright. Bubbles are dainty. They're thin, but very, very reflective. One of our assignments in college was make as many bubbles as you can. And get this. Not with paint. Oh no, the teacher made it so much fun. <laughs> you had to do the bubbles with crayons. That's so, all yeah, buy a big old box of crayons. Whatever color you wanted, but it had to be bubble. Oop. Yeah, thanks. Had to be bubbles. Oh, yeah, I can get it lower. Had to be the bubbles, no matter what, but in crayon. No other medium, crayon. No, he didn't want you to trace it with a pencil, you know, kind of sketch it out first and color it in. Oh. And he wanted to know our knowledge of a bubble. Literally. And he was going around the classroom, walking around the tables, just walking around, kind of looking, blowing bubbles at us. Oh, look, here's your, <laughs> here's your, uh, what do you want to call it? Your model. So he would blow bubbles. And we had, I think, half an hour to do this. Oh, but we he, we only had 15 minutes of bubbles, of him blowing bubbles. So he'd go to each table and blow a bunch of bubbles. Walking around slow. Just kind of walking around and just blowing the bubbles. And we better hurry up. Because it was going to stop. Okay. No big deal, right? Yeah. Not knowing exactly what he was looking for because he didn't say. He all he said was just draw bubbles. I want you to do bubbles with crayons. There you go. Go at it. If you did it with any other medium, you were at, you flunked. That was it. You should have known better. He already told you the assignment, and you were doing it with something else. So yeah, no, don't do that in front of him. I don't want to draw a bubble. We had to draw a bubble. It was our grade. So yeah, we all went at it, of course. And then when he was finished with the 15 minutes, he went and sat down and got a bunch of crayons himself and did bubbles his way. Let me tell you, there was like, <laughs> there, my, there was, there's 15 of us in the class. 
And out of those 15, I will say about four of them already had a job in illustration of some sort or advertisement. So they already knew how to draw this. So the concept was not new to them. It was new to the rest of us. Okay. I did my bubbles the way I saw them. Literally just the way I saw them. Everybody did either abstract. There might have been maybe two others besides me doing the bubble itself, trying to get it down, trying to kind of get it right, especially with all the lights. And remember, these are all fluorescent lights. High ceilings, fluorescent lights. So you can imagine the bubbles in different colors or color. It was it was different to do it. And then everybody was going either abstract, filling it all in, then rounding it off like if, if it was a ball. Yeah, that's not a bubble. So yeah, when we got done and he was, he collected the papers. Oh yeah, he'll collect everything. And then went up to the front and then kind of went go through them. <laughs> it was one of those like, oh God, you guys thought that was, no, that's not even a bubble. It's a ball. And he'll tell you it's a ball, it's not a bubble. Obviously you guys don't know what a bubble is. And he'll kind of go through them. And that's his point. It's a critique. Did you guys really thought I said abstract? He goes, no, you guys didn't understand the concept. I said, just draw the bubble. I didn't say not draw the bubble or draw it in your own way. I said, just plain draw the bubble. So he was very strict on how we were supposed to do it. And then the one, those of us that actually did the bubble, <laughs> like he said, it was like, huh? This is a miracle. Somebody actually listened to me. Yeah. Ooh. Ex-army guy. Can you imagine him being the art teacher? Ex-army dude. No. Harley Davidson driving old dude. Yeah. That kind. He knew where his pension was going. Yeah. Needless to say on that one, it was like, it was funny. It was like, okay. If I was going to put a grade on this, guys, most of you have flunked. Illustrators don't count because he already saw their stuff. He, he didn't pick, he didn't touch their work at all. The rest of us, he did. And out of the rest of us, only three of us, four, three, four, damn it. I'll just say three because I really can't remember. Three of us passed if it was a grade. And he said if, and we're like, oh God, thank God. Because I didn't think I did it right. I was, because I was looking at somebody else and I'm thinking, are we supposed to do it like that? Are we supposed to do it like that? I mean, you look and you're thinking, am I doing this wrong? Just keep doing it. If you're already doing it one way, just keep doing it. And yeah, he had got to the point to where it was like, okay, I said, draw the bubble. Did I not throw them at you guys enough? <laughs> it was like that. Then he brings his out. Yeah. It looked like, oh, hi. Thank you for following. Awesome. Well, anyways, he threw out the concept and it was one of those like, okay, here's my picture. Of course he, he's the art teacher, duh. And he put the abstract and put a big old X. He put the ball looking bubble, which wasn't a bubble, it was a ball, put an X. Then he drew the actual bubble itself down here. This is what I wanted. These are the only three that did it. The rest of you did not. The rest of you would have got F's. I could have kicked you out of my class and go, go home. <laughs> like that. And everybody's like. <laughs> yeah, I was one of those. I was like, oh my God. Seriously? You talk about harsh. But you know, even as scary as he made that art class, it was literally fun. We had a lot of fun in that class. Which we did have like, I don't know, maybe about six, about six people dropped out. I'm thinking, why would you buy all that paint in the first place and then drop out later? It was a beginning art class and still they were like, boop, forget this. Obviously you're not going to teach. Yeah, he did. You weren't paying attention to the assignment. I tell you, some teachers, oh, kind of scary. <laughs> What I do? Yeah, I'll do it again. I wouldn't mind doing it again. How about that? 
nose with the purple, but that one's not dry. But yeah, we knew how to draw bubbles. The rest of them didn't. So I thought that was cool. Again, it's the paying attention to the teacher, what he wanted. He didn't say abstract, but he also didn't say not to do abstract. But he did say draw the bubble. Draw the bubble. He didn't say draw the bubble as you see it. Because at that point, that's all you. Draw the bubble. And I guess a few of us literally took it as literal. Because even I was like, oh, I didn't do that. I did it the way, I mean, I did the ball. <laughs> I don't know. He didn't say draw the ones that popped. There were a few of them that drew the ones that were popped. Oh, pop bubble. No, he just says draw the bubble. That's it. So I took it literal like a few others did also. We just drew the bubble. Sometimes just follow the instructions to the point. I think that's what he was getting at. He never really said it. Hey, weird teacher. I loved him. Loved him. I said, he's one of the ones I was so do all over again. I don't care. It is cool. Hi, honey. Let's see. Who is your name? Lepru? Lepru. Lepril. Lepril. You sound like a pill. <laughs> Are you a capsule? Are you a time release? <laughs> well, hi, hi, hi. First time on my channel. Yeah, it's okay, huh? Yeah, I do anime chicas. Or uh, I had a couple of them call it uh, waifus. Not the waifu. Love it. I hope you're having a happy Friday. <clears throat> I do have a sore throat, so I'm sorry. If I kind of squeak kind of here and there, it's because of that. I'm trying to avoid just stopping. But I'm having fun with the bubble thing. And I had to bring up my teacher, my old teacher. All teachers are freaking scary. What's the next one? Purple, red. Oh, the red for the tiny bubble. And I did the blue. Let me do the red. Because we got the red bubble. All right. Or pink. Pinky, red, red, pinky. All right. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Okay. And it is a bubble. Ooh, don't fall. Let's see if I can get it right. Oh, the music stopped. Um, this was called Mellow Indie Epidemic Sound. Not sponsored, guys. I just like to do that. Let's see. Oh, this one's called Cute Folk. Cute Folk. Whoa, this one's kind of longish. That's okay, we like long, right? Happy, go, lucky, fun. Yay! That's what we want. Ugh. Seriously, I need a new throat. <laughs> Sword throats are no joke. Goodness gracious, I love you. Thank you for joining, though. Seriously. Let's see who's on. Oh, nobody's on. I mean, there's a lot of people on. Don't get me don't get me wrong when I say nobody. I meant the ones I'm following. Yeah, I know, right? You can't follow you. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Um I do have a commission on one of the elites. And yeah, I did get into it a little more, a little extensive. Again, I like to study my subject a little bit. Damn, I love her already. A little bianch. <laughs> but you know, sometimes you gotta be when you're authority or authoritative. Or you're an authoritative. She says so cool though. I get it. So you bet your patookies. And I did pick the one I liked. And I can't wait to get started. 
I have a few copies down. She's very melodramatic, I guess. Melo. All you got, all she's got to have is that look, and you already know. Oh gosh, she's pissed. Oh hell no, she's saying fuck off. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> I like it. Like I said, I love the animators that can just bring that out in a character. And I'm sorry, but that's what we want. We love that. Otherwise, what's the point of watching it, right? Even I know that. Whoa, 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 don't move. Anyways, little pain. Don't move, don't move, don't fall. There we go, gotta let that dry too. Which? Yep. That one's dry. We can go back to that one. Can't touch this one for a little bit. This one should make it a little denser. I said a little, don't worry. Then I'll follow it with a lighter color. Hmm, looks a little squarish there, huh? Remember, round bubbles. We like them round. And for the ones that are uh, on or on my uh, Twitch, I already thought about, uh, because they've been with me for a while, and I was thinking of doing a couple of little posters. And if you want to PM the address, PM, is that how you call it? DM? How do you say that? Hmm. Yeah, I figured that one out. Either on your computer or physical. I'll show a couple of pictures. And I say pictures, seriously. I mean, I could send it digitally. Digitally. <laughs> Digitally, I could do that or send you a little poster just for being on the channel. I mean, I appreciate everybody that, that gets on here because I can. That's that's the only reason because I can. Is it gonna be something really big? No, let me give you a heads up on that. Maybe like an eight by ten sound okay. I don't mind doing that. Every once in a while, I like to do things as like an appreciation because look, we got, what's the holidays coming up right now? St. Patrick's, do I look Irish? You know, half the people around here claim themselves are a quarter Irish, some sort of Irish, but I'm part Irish somewhere. I turn around and go, you know what? I'm Irish. <laughs> I'm Irish. This little Mexican cheek right here. I'm Irish. <laughs> I'm tired of people saying it. It's like, you ain't freaking Irish. I know what an Irish looks like and I know what they sound like. Don't sound or look like a you at all. I bet you about look in your background. There's not even an, a, 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 a minuscule, uh, an, an atom's worth of an Irish in you. How about that? <laughs> oh, guys, the crap I gotta hear from people is like, no, no, you're not. Go tell somebody else a story. It's redonkulous to hear that. But we got St. Patty's Day coming up. One thing Mexicans know how to fucking do with the Irish is drink. But I bet you the Irish can still drink them under their table. Hmm. Why? Because I've seen Irish drink. Holy cannolis. That's besides the point. Next holiday. Was it Easter? We got Easter coming up. So I think we were yeah, we already started Lent, which is the 40, it's usually about 40, 45 days of something you gave up. You know, your your sacrifice. Not much of a sacrifice if you're just saying, I'm gonna give up chocolate. What the hell? You know, do something bigger. 
Oh. Ow. I hear zombies about mm -hmm. kids. I like to say zombies. Out of nowhere. Maybe because I said zombie. Oh. Alright, here's this baby. What am I going to do? Okay. Let's do it about the same way. And I go from there. From there to about mid. Happy go lucky music, guys. We love it. Love the music, people. Love the music. Okay, let's see. Let's do that little tun 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 tun. And then we kind of go around a little bit. Good lord, girl. Why did I decide to put bubbles on you, huh? Huh? Aw, because you're cute. We like bubbles. This one I'm going to put in front of your arm. Which means i got to distort that a little bit. So I hope you don't mind. Alright, that looks pretty good right there. Alright, let's get this right here going. And a little up, uppity, uppity up. Not like that. Bubbles are fun to make. Oh yeah, the classroom thing. <laughs> Let me just say, with Mr. Howell, our art teacher, his name was Mr. Howell. Yes. On the bubbles, only three of us would have passed on that. Because we were good. We did what he said and that's all it came down to it so those ones that did what he said we were the ones that got to literally draw paint do anything we wanted for an art show get that for an art show it was awesome who knew that's how i mean he handpicked that way he gave us the concept and then we went from there on any medium we wanted so, of course, one did uh, charcoal, I did painting, and another one did the watercolor slash crayons. She kept with the crayon motif. It was awesome. And he, all he did was just give us the concept, and we went from there. We went. It was great. Of course, everybody, eh, it's not fair. Do, 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 do. Well, is life fair? That's what he said. Is life fair? Huh. No, no, it's not. Hmm. He just plain and simple said it like that. Again, ex army guy. I get it. Is it fair? They say he went and shot people. He was being shot at. You no, know it's not fair. Now, I didn't say he was drafted. Of course, he didn't say either. So I don't know. He could have been forced to go into the army or again, he joined. He wanted to. Oh, you guys would have loved him and hated him. He was one of those teachers you love to hate and love to love. He was just, he was just great. And sometimes you need, you need somebody like that. You need somebody with that kind of do or die. I mean, the way he saw everything was, I shot everybody. Not my people, but I shot everybody that was out there. That God sorted me out. You can't think of it as that's a human being because that one human being is shooting right at you. So I was like, whoa, he was harsh and kind of like down to the point of reality. So yeah, he scary. But I mean, when you think like that, and I can't say much because my father, okay, I have uncles and father that were in the military in Mexico, not here, Mexico. Could you imagine all the crap they went through that? So yeah, I get it. Kind of get it and not get it. There we go. Give a little bit of a reflection. 
There we go. I said I had to go over this one because that red will stand right out. Oh, I haven't checked on my other girl yet. Let's see what that color looks like. There we go. I like it. And this one, a little bit of the same. It's like way up here. All right, guys. Happy go lucky music. Seriously, I feel like I should be doing some sort of animation. Oh yeah, wait, I am. <laughs> oh, seriously, guys, my throat. Ouchies. Did I even get to do my rant of the morning? I kind of did uh, the camera. Get freezing on me. Let's see. Okay, Randolph here. Oh, I, I had somebody ask me to do a pastels, chalk pastels. So just so you know the specifics, because I realized about the oil pastels and all these other ones. And yeah, uh, I will do a chalk pastel. When? I am not sure. I do have a little series coming up. Besides this, okay, I got my two girls here now, and I got two more to do. But not with those two either. Uh, maybe with one of the maids, because I got my maid series coming up, and those are also four. Four picks on that one. And maybe I'll do one of them on chalk. Or two of them on chalk. It just depends. I don't mind doing the chalk pastels at all. That's how I first started on a lot of the, on a lot of this, because my teacher introduced me. He says, why are you shying away from this? Cause I did, I didn't touch it. I didn't like chalk. I, I don't know if it was the feel of it or the fact that when they write on the board, it's always a squeaky noise and it feels like my teeth are falling out. I think I was afraid more of that. So yeah. And he got me started on the chalk pastels after the paints. Now paints, I've always done acrylic, always done acrylic because that was during high school is when I learned what acrylic was, not brick and poster paint, not the same. Oh my God, yeah, I was the acrylic because it took longer to dry. It mixed well, I could use a brush, not just fingers. It was amazing. When you learn a new medium, oh my God, and then I just couldn't let it go. Well, with the chalk pastels, I did the same thing. I fell in love with it and did a whole bunch of stuff with it. And that on my second, my second stuff for the uh, museum. Now, granted, guys, when I say museum, I meant the school museum. Was, our school had a museum. Uh culture a lot of uh early modern a lot of late a lot of uh kind of like dinosaur time era sorry during that era and we have a few of our from the art department draw out the dinosaur to which the teeth belong to to which the thigh bone belonged to and don't get me wrong the muse an actual museum lent these pieces to the school to be used in our little museum and there's not much to our small museum you can get through it really quick maybe about five minutes if you're not just standing there you're literally just walking it about five minutes so it's pretty decent i guess for a school a college college mind you so yeah and it was great so yeah i i did several chalk chalk drawings or pastel chalk pastel drawings on the what do we do it on? Indians, 
we had a lot of their pottery at that time. So we did a lot of Indians and I mean, most of us, we just volunteered. We just volunteered because it was a chance to get your stuff out there. And it was great. I mean, there's nothing more exciting than somebody looking at your stuff. You know, whether it be Apache, whether it be the Hopi Indians, whether it be the Incas, the different type of Indians that people didn't really see beyond the American Indians, Alaskan Indians. I mean, there's just because you call them Eskimos, but they're not Indians. I mean, everybody has a name. Everybody has a tribal name. But when you draw them out, oh, it made such a difference in the way people looked at stuff. And I liked it. So yeah, we had a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of fun. This right here. Trying to get a reflection in. Bubble, bubble, bubble. I actually covered it up nicely. <gasps> okay, let's go with the other one. Um, oh god, I do need a lozenge though. Or at least some hot water with vinegar. I realize I'm gonna have to try and do my little twitch thing here. Um, Maybe like every other day or so. No, I'm thinking probably every other day. Obviously every day is really killing me. <laughs> or the family. <laughs> Let me just say the family. <clears throat> mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm actually kind of, mm -hmm. uh, I don't feel so good. I don't feel so good. I really don't. But I did get that little request, so I figure I'll bring out my chalk pastels. If I can find them, I know I know kind of where I have them. But I literally got to bring them out. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty good. I need yet to just re blue that one. But it'll give me, I actually have fun doing this. So it gives me time to rework my stuff. I just can't believe I got asked that if I do chalk. Oh, again, most of my uh, kind of questions that I answer. It's from Facebook. Uh, I have a couple of people on there. And artists also, by the way. A lot of them are, oh, well, bakers. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I followed a lot of the people that made like cakes and cookies. <laughs> but if you see what's on there, you know, that takes patience to draw some sort of picture. Or, I mean, with frosting. They are so good. So good. And the whole time I'm like, you guys, are you supposed to eat this when it looks too pretty? There was a flower cake. I mean, literally flowers and all made out of fondant and some sort of, what is that? I think it's buttercream. No, it's not buttercream. I don't even know all the icings that they have out there. But it was beautiful and it was a big old bouquet of roses. There was another one, like a football field with a football in the middle. No, the football was, it was a cake in the middle of it with the fondant on top. And then it looked like a real football. It was like that kind of shiny, rubber shiny. The texture, oh, they do such good work. And all that did was remind me of the cake boss. Remember that guy? 
Yeah, that's all that reminded me of was a cake boss. I'm thinking, damn, we got our own out here. We don't need no cake boss. Well, I like the cake boss. Let's see, you're another star over here. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to get a red star. I need a red star. If I do that one, then purple, then this one's red. Oh, I already touched the blue. Oh, because I was... <coughs> Ow. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, my tonsils are swollen. Hmm. Hooray. Oh, thank God I got Campbell soup. You never know. We need the Campbell soups. You know, a lot of people favorite is like that chicken noodle one. Mm. I like the rice. Mexican. <laughs> Mexican, we like the rice. We love our tacos and we love our rice. Rice and beans, guys. Rice and beans. Can't go wrong. Let's see. Red. Do, 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 do. She's so cute. Oh, I said I was going to check my other one. And here I am starting. Ugh. I suck. I am going to check her though. Okay, my boy is up. Sounds like my girl is up too. Well... What time is it though? Let's see. Oh, it's past 12, guys. <laughs> oh, cute the folk. A Finnish epidemic sound. Not sponsored. <laughs> okay, cute folk. There you are. Now, this one is Slumber Nights in Love. Ooh, ooh, touchy feely, touchy feely. Touchy feely music, guys. Don't be mad now. I'm just going down the lines, what I'm doing. Of course, I'm not going to play the ones that say sound only. Oh. Who wants to hear a bunch of clapping or laughing? We got a purple. Okay, that one's red. So the next circle is the blue. We got baby red there. So I did red. That one's purple. And then the blue up there. Did it again, didn't I? Oh, guys, my voice is going. I'm done. <laughs> I can't help it to talk because this is all I have right here. And it's just nice. I didn't get it out there only because I am painting. You guys are literally watching me paint and watch it dry. Oh. But I'm going to tell you what I tell my kids. Mama don't feel so hot. <laughs> oh, God, I really don't. My throat is like, wow. I think because all the talking to, it's like on fire. Ugh. 
and I didn't I know I took some medication but I was like I took it earlier yeah it's cracking it's cracking I am not the cracking really after this though all I'm gonna do is I'll sketch <clears throat> sorry I still sketch when I'm sick and you know there's weird things that you see when you're sick weird don't bug me what will bug me though is not being able to get these done I don't like to paint when I'm sick though because then I can't see the paint and I don't even know how to explain that. I mean, I just can't see, period. What? Oh my god, I just didn't see that. It's purple and I just grabbed red. I'll double dip my paintbrush. Oopsie. Nah, this won't go to waste, though. Well, I'm gonna to... Dry. Dry faster. It is going. Oh my god. Can you hear it? <laughs> Oh, I really, 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 really want to stay here. But it is killing me. Ugh. Okay, let me check this chica out first. Let me put you down, girlfriend, because I already messed up on that bubble. You put her down for a minute. All right. Oh, that fixed a lot of the blotch. Look at that. And you can tell where I haven't touched it yet. Right here. Right here. See? So I'll go back into that. Now this, I might change the color on it. She's supposed to have some sort of a... A little bit of an edge. But I think the edge is supposed to be darker. Like, you know, the shadow, like right here. That's the shadow right there. And see, right here is patchy. So I'll have to go in there again. That's what I thought about the skin color. And look at this. This right here is two layers. This is one layer. You see what I mean on the color? Sometimes, I mean, I should not have to paint 10 times over the area to get the skin tone. Should not happen that way. At the most, four, five times when you're trying to correct, you know, added that little extra highlight, add that little extra shadow with the skin tone color. But... That was two. And literally, this right here took... Yeah, maybe about ten. Give or take, eight or ten. That's a lot. So yeah, there's something wrong with the color. Probably old. Maybe it was starting to rot. I just couldn't tell. And usually, again, they don't check expiration dates. If most of them don't have expiration dates. But yes, paints do go bad. This one didn't smell bad, and I smelled some doozy. I mean, it was bad. So I know what rotten paint smells like, and if you guys don't know, you don't want to. You don't want to know. It might as well be a rotten egg. Because, yeah, that's what it smells like. Rotten egg or rancid oil. Remember, a lot of these paints have oil in them. So I'm going to have to... It's going to be that bad. I might have to just go and fix it. But that took a lot of the blotch out here too. I, it's just going over and over and over it with the same color. And I mean, even these didn't do that. It is so pretty. Yeah, I see the little ears right here. I might highlight those a little bit more so they can stick out. I got to repaint a little space here and grease paint right here because it kind of messed up a little bit where the orange is kind of dipped in right here too it dipped in so I gotta darken up my I use a dark brown for that then I'll do her mouth and her eyes and literally finish up her suit it's not much to do I got to put shadows in the white cloth to show that it's cloth a little bit you know people move there's little Dance and indentations and stuff. So I'll be doing that with her. But it's looking, it is looking better. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, my lozenge wore off. So sorry. I will go and please forgive me. But um, 
I'll, I'll be on again and show you where I'm at, at least with her. And tell you about that face paint because I really I'm just gonna have to make my own I get I understand why people do that I just thought it would be faster and all it did was make me work more so it didn't come out as right as I wanted to face paint we mix red blue where is it red blue what's the other color white yellow red blue and yellow and then go in with the white a little bit. It's been a while since I've done it. I'll do it again though. Ain't gonna hurt. But there you go. <clears throat> oh, I'm so sorry. Seriously, my throat's killing me. But thank you. Thank you. And if anything, I hope you stick with me for the next, next session. And I'll show you how far I got. There are a few places I gotta repaint, but that face paint's gotta go. And I gotta redo that one. Okay, so I'll see you folks in the next stream. Bye. Bye. Uh -oh. Better. Better. Because this, this right now, it's, it feels so dry. I'll be better, I swear. Oh, look at me. I'm also red cheeky. I'm not blushing. I swear, guys, I'm not blushing. Uh oh, but anyways. Bye, and thank you for joining me. Later, guys. <laughs>